Man, this is awesome. Yeah. So, so your first name is? Shandell. Shandell. Yes, sir. There's Peter Marco. Nice Good to meet you, brother. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Shandell. Shandell's a very talented artist here. Look, he does all of this out of wire. This is pretty crazy. It's lacquer or in yes. lacquer and yeah. wire. Wow. Okay. I love it. Right? All right. right. To get uh, Mr. Marco here. Okay. A painting of him with the wire and everything. Really, really wild. Beautiful colors to make it vibrant. Yeah. Oh, that's that's cool. absolutely, you're really, really talented, man. This is beautiful. I love it. Can't wait to get Mike. <laughs> wow, so that looks good. Does all of your work typically follow like a topographical uh, map theme or was that just like kind of a one-off well, thing? This, one how, this is how this one came, came out. I, I wanted to get highlight her, you know, the cheekbones, you know, the, the, with the lighter colors. So I wire it. I wire what I see. And, um, these are just, you know, I just, you know, this expression of wire, it has a dimension to it and everything. So that's that's what I like to use. A lot of color, a lot of wire. Sometimes it hurts, but this is what I do. And then you put the, the enamel or lacquer yeah, over the wire. It and it yeah, because it's not exposed. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. That's so awesome, brother. Love it. <laughs> get a picture. Is it alright if we do a love scene? No. <laughs> <laughs> Call, I'm only kidding, brother. I'm in trouble. Well, respect the love, brother. <laughs> so, okay, so we're missing a couple stones. Yes. And we will replace that. What I'll do is I'll clean and polish it, I'll pressure test everything and make sure that nothing else comes out. That'd be amazing. Okay. That'd be great. See, it, it's it's uh, an honor to have supermodels come in our store and uh, we appreciate that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for taking Aww. the time out of your busy schedule. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. We love you. Aww. We do. Michael, thank you. Just got in my factory rose gold GMT that I'm really proud of and got in my Submariner, beautiful white, all factory, both watches, brand new box and papers. Oh, robot services. I think it's the food delivery service. Is that food delivery? Yes, Come on. Yeah. Good, good luck. Look, it delivers the food. That's pretty crazy. And look at it. security's here. <laughs> no remote control food delivery. Yeah. <laughs> I just fulfilled a request from a client. It's um, 5712 Rose Gold Paddock. Um, he's so excited about it. He's on his way over now to pick it up. It's such a um, exciting, fulfilling part of, of what I do, bringing so much happiness to people. This guy's just crazy ecstatic about it. And so is everyone else who picks up this stuff. But he gave us the opportunity, we found it, we delivered it, um, and I can't wait to, to give it to him. And uh, we got some pictures of him. Believe me, he'll be smiling from ear to ear. Absolutely. I mean, the confidence, you know, to, to pull it off for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that's what we do. When you got an exotic rare piece like that, and it's a few years old, we'll put it on the machine, but we'll make sure it's within a few seconds in the 24 hour period. And that's what this data checked out perfect. Well, I'm uh, lost for words. Good brother, as long as you're happy. Absolutely. It brings us happiness. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Houston's in the house. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Houston in the house. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be back here soon. Yeah. I got on YouTube. Yeah. I appreciate you guys. Yeah. Enjoy yourself, man. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, what's up, man? Good to see you, guys. Good to see you. Good to see you. Big boy. There you go. How are you, brother? I got big brother and little brother here today. That's right. That's right. He's actually kind of looking like the big brother. I'm looking like the little brother. Yeah. We're talking. Size and then years. That's so true, yeah. Big brother in years, brother, you're the big yeah. brother in size. size. That's right. So I'm here with my boy Franz and my boy Frederick. And today I want to congratulate them on a great selection of jewelry. They're here to pick up their watches. 
They're very, very close family with incredible values and morals and they like to do things together. So one was not happy with getting a watch without the other getting a watch. That's right. So they're oh, here yeah. together to pick up the watches together. That's true love. And the best part of the whole thing is, as much as you think they might love the jewelry, the mom and dad are the, are the coaches behind it. They're like, get that, get that, get that, get that. That's mom and dad over there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> mom, and dad. All right. <laughs> mom and dad edged them on, let me tell you. Anyway, um, this is an interesting story because Frederick is getting the Daytona, oh, excuse me, the Sky Dweller with baguettes. The baguette necklace, we're doing this in yellow and these two beautiful rings. And Franz is getting this incredible Rolex Daytona rainbow with the sapphire bracelet, the sapphire ring. This is incredible, incredible jewelry here. So this money was actually allocated to a couple of uh, girls at one point oh, yes. that they came in with. Okay, oh, yes. and um, they came in with these girls and they were looking for jewelry for the girls. And um, it turns out that life took them in a different direction for the better. Never argue and question, just go with the flow. Um, Amen. In life, sometimes we don't understand why things happen, but then ultimately we find out it happened for the best. So they decided to take that, that budget for all the girls and treat themselves. Right. So this turned out to be right. an incredible, <laughs> happy right. ending. And um, girls, if you're watching, I'm sorry, but you know the money's being spent now for That's them right. and they're gonna feel good about it and rock it. The next, so, uh, next uh, jewelry set's gonna be for uh, mom and dad. Th there you go. Yeah. And it won't be the, it won't be the first time for mom and dad. Oh, yeah, we already yeah. They did mom and dad and they did the sisters. They all got incredible diamond rings at one point. So yeah. It's, uh, so we're, we're coming after, we're actually buying it after the fact. After we always help our family first and now we're kind of splurging. But yeah, you couldn't have said it better. There you go, come here my brother. So congratulations on your watch. Thank you. He's a big boy, he needs a big watch, 42 yeah. millimeter. Look at that puppy, incredible. And then, brother Franz, he's, this is just so elegant. It's yes. such a clean, sophisticated look. Oh, we gotta take all the plastic off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It looks better when the plastic's off. That's wearing my rainbow shirt and my Christian Louis Vuitton rainbow <laughs> shoes, of course. Or Bud Manson, bro. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when we come pick up our jewelry here, it's a celebration. It is. It really You're is. not rolling <laughs> in the really sweats. Like, you know, this is major. No, yeah. We may come in with our sweats and uh, our, our flip flop. But when is delivery day? Man, this is like. <laughs> if they came in in their sweats, before they left with the jewelry, they'd go down the block and go shop and change their outfit yeah. <laughs> just so they could pick up the jewelry <laughs> the right true. way. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, man. Come on, guys. Look at this. What am I doing? There you go. Wow. Come on now. Wow. That is And then on this incredible. hand, we're going to do this incredible blue sapphire bracelet. Every stone here. Yeah. Every stone is over a carat and a half. And it's 11 stones perfectly matched. So like 17 carats of sapphires and 18, 19 carats of diamonds. And then of course we got the ring. This is a uh, three carat. Three carat, three and a half carat center. Mm -hmm. Look at this setup guys. Come on now, it's looking incredible. And then we got this over here. So the rainbow bezel picks up all the color. Yep. Looks good. That and is then, incredible. And then for little brother, we got his watch. We got his ring. We got his ring that we're gonna size. Oh no, it fits. Yeah, we got this bracelet, which we're going to build in yellow gold for him. Just look at that. Look how elegant. And then, of course, we got this incredible necklace. <laughs> and when you put it on, it looks like royalty, and it looks like it was built for him. Oh, well, yes, yeah. And the shirt matches, too. Look at that. So happy for these guys. I'm really happy Dude, for you. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah. Oh, my God. Good for you, bro. Thank Good you. Happy for you. Yes. And mom and dad, you must be really proud of your kids that they can do this. Yeah? All right. This is what we do. We bring happiness. Absolutely. We're grateful. And we bring happiness to people. That's what our goal is. Thank you. Wow. Great job. I love it. Wow. So you see everything as you want. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, you did a great job. Wow, looks good. This is fire. Tell Saudi Kabara it once in a while. <laughs> <laughs>
Looks good. All right, I love it. Yeah, nice. Really beautiful job. So this was the leftover from the other jacket? Yeah. Yes, wow. Incredible. It's like a one of one. It's, yeah. Wow. You see, it's not the same. Yeah, yeah really nice. Down, nice and tight. Thank you. Okay, I checked all the other ones. Cool. They're all loose. In on 47th Street, and they're just they're so like he's got so much uh, stuff to send. It's it's hot. That's where I get the stuff in. And and they're not taking oh, yeah. the kind of yeah. love that they should be. Yeah, every single leg. Was I told I told. Looks really good. It does that. Let me show you. Yeah. Let me show you. So this one is the, the one I got two years ago. Oh, they were smart though. Right there, property. Yeah. Yeah. And then this one I just got oh, last month. This is what I got for my birthday. Yeah, this looks good. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so this one was uh, 68. This one was 75. Nice. So you got like over a kilo here for sure. Oh, it's two kilos. Yeah, so yeah nice. each one is a kilo. Yeah, this is a little good. more because they fucked me up with this one. They're like, we're going to add another kilo on this one or do you want to send this one back? I said, yeah. I'm just doing the new one. Who yeah. kissed you on the neck? Oh, it's going to go. <laughs> Has everything going? She left a permanent mark. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. When we break up, what are we going to do? Yeah. You tell me to your next girlfriend's lips. <laughs> exactly. Right? She's All like, right, this, this is, is good now. Let's oh, see. Thank you so much for doing that. It was really nice of you. Yeah, it wasn't anything big. It was just that. Which one? This one? Yeah. Was, yeah, people like that. This so This way? Yeah. Yeah, just, All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. Take care of yourself. Thanks, All right. Take care. Bye-bye. See you, brother. Another incredible week, another eventful day. Uh, just really, really so grateful. And um, I like telling you guys my story. So I want to tell you a whole other side of the jewelry industry that's really very interesting. So I had a shop and in the shop we had jewelers, setters, polishers, model makers, designing, um, quality control, all that was in the shop. And it was about, I would say at the time, 40 people. So what's interesting is that we had the office part, which was our offices, our showroom, uh, when clients came up to visit us. Um, and that was beautifully designed offices with carpeting. And then we had our factory, and back then we had uh, linoleum flooring throughout the whole factory. Now you have a jeweler's bench, and the jeweler's sitting there, and he has a bench, and he has all his tools on the bench, and he's working on his bench, and he has a drawer that pulls out. Well, this is the interesting part. Every one of those guys, the polisher, the jeweler, the setter, they're working with gold. So when they get the cleaning, when they get the casting, it's a really rough casting. So they have to take like a sandpaper wheel and clean it all up. And then the jeweler might have to assemble. And then the diamond setter is drilling holes and setting and clipping prongs. So let's say your average jeweler, setter, polisher, let's say he wants to use the restroom four times a day. So we gave him a brush. It looked like a sideways paintbrush. And what would happen is, he'd have to, sort of like this. Every time he had to go to the bathroom, what he had to do is, he would stand in front of his drawer, which was steel, it would pull out, and he'd have to go like this, and he'd have to wipe off all of this. And he'd have to do that over the bench. And he did that three, four times a day, you know, where he went to a break, went to the restroom, or even for lunch. And then, at the end of the day, he would do this as well, he would take all his tools out of the drawer, like this, clean off every single tool. And then he'd go like this, and he'd make a pile. And that's what we call the sweeps. And he'd have a little shovel, about this big, and he would sweep it into the shovel and put it in a bag. And then, if there was 40 jewelers, we would get 40 bags at the end of the day that would go to the foreman. And the foreman would look at the bags and empty them into a coffee can. So this was done every single day of production to give you an idea with all these guys and then we'd have this coffee can that might take a month to fill and then in between all that we'd have someone vacuuming or sweeping well when we vacuumed the whole place and we swept the whole place even the office part we would keep all the vacuum parts we empty the vacuum into a big bag so now we have an area inside the factory where we keep the coffee cans filled with all the sweeps which what it is is 
It could be paper, it could be sandpaper from the wheels, the tools, and a lot of it, and most of it is diamond dust and diamonds and, 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 and gold, pieces of gold and platinum, 14, 18, all these little pieces that you snip and put together. And the craziest part is we would keep this for about a year and every year we'd send it off to our refiner. They would come in, they would weigh the bags, we'd have a checklist, and we'd give it to the refiner. Now here's the crazy part. Every three or four years, we would rip up the carpeting throughout the whole factory, in the office area, and the linoleum, all the flooring in the whole factory, every three or four years, and they would come, we'd cut it up, roll it up, and give it to the refiners. Because when the jewelers got up, after all of this, gold would fall on the floor into the linoleum. If you went with a magnifying glass to the linoleum, you would see gold embedded in the linoleum. If you did that on the carpeting, you would see the gold dust and all that in the carpeting. And we would have to change the flooring every three or four years with all of that, the sweeping and everything every year, send it to the refiner, and we would get a check for three, four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars because they would melt the carpeting, heat it up so much until everything is gone except the gold. That's what a refiner does. And then give us back bricks or bars of gold that we could use for production again. Isn't that crazy? He had to sweep off his body, sweep off his tools, save the sweepings from 40 guys every day. The polisher is polishing and he's got like a huge vacuum behind him. And the vacuum sucks all the air into a filter and every couple weeks we would clean out that filter and keep those sweepings too. So it's another side of the jewelry business to see how interesting it is that every three or four years you wind up getting three, four, five, six hundred thousand dollars in gold left over that you would think didn't exist and wouldn't mean anything. But this is the part of the thinking and the backsides of a factory that goes into the production of jewelry. And again, the volume is gonna be a key part. We were doing hundreds of pieces. We were doing big production. So obviously if you're working on a few pieces every year or every week, every month, it's not gonna happen. But when you have 40 guys and they're working all day long at all these pieces, you got mass production going on. This is the benefit of the mass production that you have an extra four or five hundred thousand dollars at the end of the year. This is the best part, the bad, the worst part about this beautiful floor is that when you drop something, you can't find it. Oh, it's right here. Where? It's right You're here. You're lying to me. There I it swear. Is. There it is. Give it to me. Found it. What is it? <laughs> it's a huggy earring. Because I was filming the floor. That's, how I, that's crazy. Yeah, that's cool. Thank you. Hey, guys. So that'll do it for this one. Make sure you share, you like, you comment, give us your feedback so we can keep making some great videos. Once again, I appreciate you watching. Click below, like, share, all that good stuff. Thank you.